Hello and welcome back to Transport Fever 2. We are sat at P3 in Motherwell, waiting for some sort of action to happen before we uh, crack on today. With a, a build down the shots line, get a few stations in today and aim to connect back up to the West Coast main line, which we have branching off at Carstairs. I am proud of myself for remembering that because I didn't note it down. Good job, me. So that is what we're up to today. And I've been busy, very busy, moving a giant lock slightly south. I have also worked on the speeds for the branch line we just put in. And I've added Chatelarow to the map. I got that slightly wrong, didn't I? my first attempt if it was a shot on goal it would have been in the car park wouldn't it we got some trains there we go i love it i love it i've uh, been riding around on a few of the trains and tidied up some of the issues we had i've put in some more blocking signals as well on the hamilton uh hamilton circle line yes that's what i'm going with i have found a Cross-country service, well, that's going in soon. I'll probably wait until we've got at least Haymarket in because it heads up that way at Carstairs. And so there's only one a two a day, one a day, two a day, I think. They do different things. Uh, the one I found, I believe, goes to Plymouth. That's a journey, isn't it? You get on in Scotland and get off in Plymouth. Surely no one does that run. Surely not. That is a journey. UI is up, and here's the lock. It has moved a little further south. It could still go further south, but then I remembered we've got some stuff to fit in here, some roads and things. So I don't want it to be too far south, even though technically it should be a little further down. It was up here somewhere, so it's a lot closer than it was before I started. This was way up here. Moving it further south has given us a nice little wiggle in the river heading up that way under the double viaduct thing we've got going on there there goes our local service for local people so moving over we've also got a little bit more of our motorway running down here which uh, now crosses the Clyde again I think it crosses at least once for us doesn't it yes it will cross up there and then it's going to cross again down here the Clyde then wiggles around up here and we'll see it from this line, hopefully. I'm confident we can get that in. Now, we've got a massive junction here. At least one. So that's why that is left as is for now. And Hamilton. Hamilton's getting some work done to it. It's functional as well. If we click on it, uh, this is all functional. It needs tidying up and finishing off, but I'm... I'm working on the bare bones, the skeleton of it. Seeing if I can get what's going on there somehow represented in Transport Fever. This needs blocking off with some concrete. In fact, shall we? Why not? Instead of just say it. Shall we do a little bit, just a tiny bit? Because I said this is going to be done and quite honestly, I think we can get it in fairly easily. Famous last words. And maybe? Yeah, I think we can do this. Let's change that to B, which increases the length. I can hear the gates in the distance. Surely you wouldn't be able to hear that right anyway. Let's make this longer. It doesn't matter how long, really. We just need it to cover the gap we've got just here. If we put that in there, that's better, isn't it? I mean, apart from this bit, but most of it is better. Can I... Just get that so it isn't flickering. No, you can't. No, you can't. Maybe. No. Does it matter? It's, it's a little frustrating. Get that. Like that. There we go. Does that work? Almost. Do you know, I'll accept it. We're not going to see it. But it does look a little better now at the very least, doesn't it? Yeah, you're not going to see that on a cab ride, are you? Also... I started detailing this area up a little bit, so I've got 
a rough idea of what's going on and whether it'll look the part once it's done. There's our new stone walls. I love these. These are at 200%. There's a few settings in the mod, the fence mod, where you can change those. It's a little bit hovery in places, but that's because we're not finished that. Oh dear. It's an Easter egg. Oh, nice. That's some traction. Got it along here as well. There's going to be some housing up here. But if we go down, uh, it doesn't look too great from above here. It just looks like I've done... Well, I have just done that. But uh, if you come down for cab rides, that looks all right, doesn't it? It's not too bad. Yeah, there we go. I don't know what's going on there. I, um, I'm in fact, I, what is that? Guys, I don't know what that is. There's some bizarre. Oh, is it part of this? It is. Yeah, there's a very strange texture issue there, isn't there? That's, I don't know what's going on there. Anyway, don't dwell on it, but it looks better. I prefer that. I've got the speed boards in. Thank you, David, in the comments for all of the speeds for around here. I've put them roughly in the right place. It slows down to 30 through Hamilton. We've got another acceleration up here to 55. Slowing down again to 30. Uh, the other direction. And we've got another speedboard here to 55 because it increases to 60. Although it's uh, hard to see that. Not that it matters for our drivers. They do what the track says. But uh, yeah, there we go. And there's our train heading off to Motherwell we've got a 40 there where it slows down then up to 60 there and that's tidier I've also added a signal just here we've got blocking into Newton should any trains come down here I don't think there's gonna be any once we've got our services in this is now Newton siding so we may turn our Cathcart Circle trains around in there and get them waiting a bit just in case we want to let the through trains through through trains through like this one because we'll now have them heading up and waiting here we go Shatler Row there and turning around the timings for this is two trains per hour that uh, head here and there, I think there's like an eight minute turnaround time not here, but wherever they luck haul. Yeah, once they get there, there's eight minutes where they turn around. So we can hold them here for, say, 60 seconds. Maybe longer, two minutes, possibly. And we'll get them waiting probably at Dalmuir as well. But that should, uh, that should give us our two trains per hour. But yeah, what do you reckon, guys? Bit better, right? We've got uh, at least the correct speeds now. Another train today, yes. Oh, yeah, this is what I wanted to show you. It's been asked for a few times. Where does our test train go when we're no longer using it or when it's uh, having a rest? Pulmody siding. It's just in here, just there. And there is a line. Here you go. We've got a line here. So what I'm hoping is to put that in the sidings when we're not using it and this signal here is one way so I'm hoping it only comes in that way that means we can flip it if we want to send it out the other way or continue off to wherever we want to go that way in fact we can get most places can't we the other way that's where our uh, test train is going to go we'll probably stick it in there today and try and get it working but we should uh, continue. Have I forgot anything? I don't think so. Just speeds. Speed boards are in as well along the West Coast main line. I've added a few more in there, such as the 35 board there. I think this was 35, wasn't it? Then we've got a few 75s in there. And the 100 and the 90 boards are in. Oh, we've got a few more down here. Another 100 there after we come off the junction. And, uh, oh, that's our local train, isn't it? Again, heading into Lanark. Lovely. Which hasn't changed, you'll be pleased to know. Although it has changed, doesn't it? It's busy. 
<laughs> People have started to travel here. Goodness me. Why is that happening? 13 on P1, 11 on P2. Both the same routes. They are different speed trains, so perhaps that's something. That's not something I've took into consideration. I might actually change them so they are the same trains. Uh, it all depends, really. I like having a mix of a mix of EMUs on here, as there is in real life. But anyway, am I avoiding building? No, absolutely not. We're going to start our little build here. It's a little closer to Holy Town than real life, as with most things that we're doing. But uh, I think we can get away with it. Flatten us some area up here. This is all going to get terraformed regardless. And we're going to need to head up. Eventually we will. I think we can get away with this being flat though. So that we can get our station in. There is a road going across the top at the east end of the platforms. Two tracks. We want P1 on that side. On the south side. So we'll put you in but without the building since we've got it the right way around now and is this 65 i think that's what we went with yes yeah, 65 we can do 65 there's no speeds for this section on open railway map 65 electrified now i mentioned in the previous episode any number ending in five would rhyme with electrified no no it wouldn't 15 Oh dear. Anyway, you've confused yourself. You're going to put 15 mile an hour through the station. That wouldn't be great, would it? No, 65. We'll do. I think every train stops here anyway. Uh, that uses the shots line. Right, let's add the entrance for the station either side. Udge it closer to the west end of the station. Just because we've got a, a path running up either side. So the more room we've got. To do that, the better. Get you connected up there. And then we're wiggling up. Now, since the track does wiggle up that way, it does lead me to believe that it possibly does head up from here. So if we start heading up, I could, of course, be wrong. We are going to take this off. How steep do we need to go? Quite steep, don't we? If we gradually get this moving up, and we uh, take advantage of the fact that there's a wiggle. Keep this at 65 if that's what it is. It could of course slow down on these curves. We are not making our way up there. We might even need to go steeper. Goodness me. I don't mind it though. Bear. Get off the track. Our next station would be Cleland. If we budget up a little bit. And maybe go further south. We may be able to get the height we need. If we then come round this way. It is a tight turn. It makes me feel like it possibly slows down. Oh, there we go. We've got the height. Look at that, guys. So if we then level off our ascent. Go a little further south. And then we can have Cleland in... There, flat. Buildings, let's get us that in. Take this off and get a 65 on the tracks. Platform entrance, I'm going to put here. The bridge is on the other, the road bridge is the other end. And there's a road coming down and a connection with a little car park. There's also a footbridge. Oh, well, I should be naming these as I do them. Otherwise, you'll forget, Grand. Cleland, is that what we're going with as a pronunciation? It is the actual name of the station. But uh, yes, I've tripped over now, well and truly, with uh, Chatelarow. Not even close, was it? Absolutely not. And this one was... Carfin is in. Nice. Uh, is that going to be okay? I think that's a, a nice grade, isn't it? We could maybe straighten this up. Just get it a little smoother where it heads up. Yeah, that's better. Don't need a tunnel. Get you in there. That's tidier. Yeah, much smoother. And we'll get us this. Stick this up to max. 
we'll just head out either side. Ideally, you want to go out quite a way and smooth out the track underneath it. You can, of course, already pre-dig the cutting. Eventually, we'll have this however it looks in real life. But I'll, I'll tend to do that in between episodes. That's what I spend a lot of time doing. Otherwise, we'll get zero progress done in an episode. But that's better, isn't it? There we go. We need to get this hooked up with that over there, heading up that way. We've actually got a good distance to go. It's probably going to have to be a two-parter, isn't it? At least, maybe a three-parter. And we'll just concentrate on getting a rough pencil outline on how we want the track. Our next station is Hartwood, and it should be after a, a turn. So that's got to be Hartwood up there, surely. It should be on a curve, and then we've got another one quite close. So we've got a bit of a run here, haven't we? That's nice. Yeah, we do need to go up. Yeah, absolutely. We'll go up a little bit just there. No doubt we're going to have to come back down the other side as we head into Edinburgh. I don't think we need to at the moment, though. Oh, is it in a cutting like that, though? I don't think it is. I feel like you head up to the middle of this and then you head back down again towards Edinburgh. So up from Glasgow, then back down to Edinburgh. That's what my money's on, looking at the lay of the land. So this is going to head up. What do we want? One tick, two ticks. Well, in fact, let's do it from the station. We can always tidy it up later on as we did with car fin was it connecting up to car fin so if we head up that way two ticks i mean it's still four percent gray i think that keeps us up with the terrain doesn't it yeah so we're gonna go there and then we'll drift slightly as it does and then we'll just maintain the climb a little and then we'll flatten out once we're roughly at where I want us to be. Probably here. Oh no, it looks like we can still head up. Look at that. We might have a look at the contours after this, guys, and just see what sort of height we're at. Oh, should we do it now? Yeah, while you're... Oh, yes. Oh, definitely. Yeah, we're, what, at 125 there. And we've gone up from 87. We've got 137. Is that our highest station? Maybe. 152. And then we've got... Oh, that's got to be bridge territory there. And then 143. Yes, we're coming back down. Look at that. 125 again. 110. Oh, and then a big drop down to 99. Finally, 92. Yeah, so we're up and down. Over a big, big hill. We got up to 190 meters. 200, maybe? There we go. Look at that. And we're sort of scooting around and up this hill, aren't we? Would it be classed as a hill? Sure. Yeah, it's a hill, isn't it? Not a mountain. So we're definitely heading up and continuing to head up. That's all right, though, isn't it? Then we're heading round this way. Lovely. And then we've got the big curve and then a little bit of a straight up to Hartwood. So if we do this, we're almost going to be back where we need to be. And the grade we've got about right now, haven't we? Absolutely. In fact, we could probably just allow this to ride the terrain a little bit there. So we don't have fixed grades we can possibly smooth a lot of this grade work out by deleting the track back and letting transport fever join it in between where we feel it's necessary now we've got a st the station coming up it is pretty much on a curve there is a road heading over the top so what i'm going to do is start to level out a little bit there go straight for the station and flat and that will give us 
what we need for the road to go over. Buildings. Let's get you in. Make sure I've been putting the platforms on the outside. I have. Tracks are in. We're going to have an entrance. Either end for this one. Roughly what's happening with this station. I'm going to give it a little bit of a gap though. Yeah, there we go. That's nice. It looks like there's shelters of sorts in here. We might be able to get away with those. With these. If we put them in the middle. Uh, it would have been nice if we could have flipped them round. But that's fine. That'll do quite nicely. Ooh, we've made quite a distance here. We'll be parking up our test train today. And we're going to see if uh, our siding trick works. Now we've got a bit of a turn here. Surely this can't be 65. And we are going to keep heading up. We've lost a bit of ground, unfortunately. There we go. Drop that back down. I'm a little surprised I held 65 round there. Then we're going to head round this way. Stay straight. Well, I want to say that's not 65. This section here. It could be. I mean, it's probably not for us. It would be tough to achieve this actual wiggle so what i might do when's the next station after heartwood that's not heartwood is it no when's the next station after this station which i'll look up in a second quite a way yes yeah, so let's get the uh the curve in here and just head up gently and then we'll get the the curve back round we'll go straight a little bit here Come back round again, as it does. Ooh, we've got to climb a little bit more. There we go. Look at that nice climb. We've sort of got it, though, haven't we? What are we doing? A DNA strand, apparently. It's a very simplified one. And then we're finally at Shots, the name of the line. Do you know, that's probably a good place to stop adding stations, isn't it, for this part? Right, so finally we've got Shots in. This is wonderful. Yeah, because we want to fit in a little bit of a cab ride, don't we? And we also want to put in a new line that runs to the actual service that runs to shots and try our parking up of our train. There is a bit of a station building. What we'll have is a basic building, a passenger building. Ele not elevated, goodness me, that's exactly not what it is. Passenger buildings. Let's just go with the standard size passenger building the oldie the oldie type yeah just something like that will do we'll get the essence of it a rough idea of where it's going something like that perfect now hopefully this track connects back up nice and easy and it does we're gonna have a temporary crossover after shots or before shots depending which way you look at it we can get this all tidied up Again, I said I was going to do this in between episodes, but I can't help myself, apparently. Lovely. Nice and smooth. We have to official episode, especially since we're finally adding in shots. That's made me all sorts of excited. That's a big part, isn't it? That's like the, I guess, the halfway point. Or the named point between the two. Uh, yes. Let's uh, remove this. We don't need it. It's not quite how our track goes, is it? I mean, it is. We've just extended the uh, the scale a little bit. Made it a little closer to true scale. But you might as well do that when you've got a little bit of space in between stations. There we go doesn't look so bad once you get rid of the the guides where I've drifted off scale a little bit is that better there's our line we're heading up yeah that's wiggling along and we're up quite a way aren't we compared to this line the west coast main line even though we raise up there as well right there's a few things I would like to do we're going to have a, a little crossover here not going to be in once we're done it's just there so that we've got a, a terminus a turnaround point up to shots signals 
We'll have these up here. Oh, I'm going to keep with the two on the branch line, I think. No, I'm going to go. Oh, what did I choose down here? It depends, doesn't it, guys? What did I choose? We'll stick with whatever I'm using. Are they two or three? Three. There we go. That answers that. We'll stick with threes. Yes, this wants to be one way. We want to force the line's hand. And we'll just put signals at the end of each station, even though they're technically there in game. I like to have them in anyway. It's going to be very plain at the moment. We've got a lot of nice field work to do in between these stations and also in between the shots line and uh, the west coast main line there's a lot of forest and a lot of fields a lot of hills a couple of villages should make for some nice simplified sceneries given all the complexity we've got over at uh, glasgow and probably what we're going to have to deal with in edinburgh okay Right, that should be enough blocking. We'll add more blocking as we go. Lovely. There is something interesting going on at... Which one's this one? Not Hartwood. I think it's Cleland. If we quickly take a look here... There you go. There is a, uh, a siding. But it looks like it goes to a, a factory of sorts. Is that what we're having in? Yes. I'm going to do it. I'm going to run it around the back here. Whether we utilise it as freight or a turnaround point uh, the switch is or the crossover is going that way only which suggests that you could pull a train up to the next block and then reverse it maybe why you would do that end of shift possibly end of a service um, broken down train as well it would send it off to the the depots up that end I mean, it's there, isn't it, as an option. We've got to cross over here. Bits of rail. I'll put those in. Oh, you've got one of those those uh, runoff things. So you don't go onto the main line by accident. Instead, you'll go plowing into there. Yeah, there we go. Let's get that in, shall we? I would love for that to be a thing that exists for us. I mean, this is all nice and flat, isn't it? I hope. Well, there's one way to do it, isn't there? Get our tracks is definitely not going to be quick, is it? 25. Even that seems nippy. Let's make sure we can get this crossover in. There we go. And then we'll get this one running up here. It doesn't look to be electrified. I could be wrong. Yeah, that should be fine. Going up there. How does that look? That's only a minor grade. And then it's going to run off round up there. And we'll hide it under some concrete. It pretty much stays level with the track. Oh, you know what I could have done? I could have connected them, couldn't I? And ran that way. Well, you've done this now. This is what we're living with. This is going to come up here and then in. I think just like that would be fine. Because we've got the slope. Oh, that was fortunate. Yes. This makes me feel like there was possibly a signal on the other side with a shunt signal. Maybe. Something like this here. Definitely wouldn't be two-way. Uh, one way. It would be two-way. Heading that way? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. We may use this. I'm not decided yet. It's certainly an option. I would need another blocking signal up there. So that trains can turn around. Well, we've got the signal at the end of the station. Would need uh, one of those invisible stations in here somewhere on a straight bit. So that they can pull up and flip round. I like it though. I definitely like that having this in here. The bridge is going to be across there road bridge somewhere right at the end of the station shall we oh save it man shall we park up 
The test train, where are you? You're just there. Uh, we'll let it get to wherever it's going. Do you have people on board? One. No, we won't then. Can we? Let's try this. Palmody siding. Will you work? Why won't you work? What's going on here? Cargo stop cannot be used by passenger vehicles. That's fine. Line contains too few stations. Right, you need more than one station. Uh, where would the next station be? I mean, technically, it doesn't matter, does it? Uh, no. I've got an idea. We could configure. I mean, why can't you stop in there? <laughs> it doesn't matter, does it? Don't tell me that a, a passenger train can't use a cargo station. That's up to me. Manage line. Let's add this as another station. And I'll set this up the same as I've set the other siding up. We want load full any. Because we're going to use it manually. And then we want that on maximum. That 10 minutes. There we go. And we don't want to load or unload. Now, you almost work. We're going to have to change it over to passenger. That's fine. We can have our freight stopping somewhere else. It depends. Where are you heading? Holmody siding. Oh, there he goes. No, he's going to use it. He's just going to complain, which is... Okay, that's a little frustrating. So what I'm going to have to do... Which is not a bad thing, is it? You can see how I added this in. We're going to have to change that over to a passenger one just so we don't have a horrible red message at the top there. And we want standard. Yes. Is that everything? Catenary. Yes. Put you back in there. Uh, manage line. Palmody siding. That should be the same one. Now it doesn't mind. Beautiful. Right, so we've took our test train, which is now going to come down here. It's going to park up at that side, and it shouldn't leave. I'm hoping it doesn't open its doors either. And it should just sit up there. There we go, we're heading down the siding. Oh, I love this. <laughs> yes, perfect. Uh, you're, you're coming to a stop. Excellent. Are you going to stop in the right place? Just before the... You are? Are you opening your doors? Oh, you're opening your doors. Your pain. Ah, that's unfortunate. Although at least it's opening them on that side. Maybe we're doing some uh, work in there. Yeah, do you know what? What we'll do then, we'll stop you. And we'll just hold you there. I mean, it is a shame that we've got the doors open. And it doesn't matter that you're running. Well, what have we got coming around here? I heard something screeching. It could have been on the Cathcart Circle, of course. Right, and we're going to do the actual Glasgow to Edinburgh. Again, we're going to have to use a 350. As that is the route I've got. What we should be able to do, though, is take the existing one as it's almost identical. Now, where's our Glasgow to Edinburgh? Glasgow. East Kilbrook. Where's Glasgow to Edinburgh? There you are. Yeah, because the only bit that's, I believe, different on this, it goes Glasgow straight to Uddingston, the service I've got here, which is the 918. And no canvas slang at all. So we skip. Everything, in fact, up until Uddingston. Which is an interesting thing, why we don't stop at Canvas Lane. Perhaps there's two different services that do it. But for this one, since we've got a lot of trains that stop at Canvas Lane anyway, and to make it a little interesting, we do all of that. We do not stop on the way back either. We'll keep that nicely mixed up. We're not going to have the Newton stop. So, so far, Holy Town is the last stop. 
Um, but us, we're going to be doing this section. The three new stations we've got in. No, that's that's starting a new line. That's not what you needed to do, Grand. Get back onto this. What did you press? Right, Holy Town. Add station. Carfin. We had a Carfin. Cleland. Oh, we added four stations. Not not three. Was it four? Yeah, one, two, three, four. We did. And then you're coming back the other way. You missed it. Lovely. Why are you highlighted? Oh, because you've got to stop there again, haven't you? There we go. Yes, absolutely. However, do not do that. We want you to stop on here. Yes, yeah, so change that one. It's the second holy town. Where are you? There you are. Change that one to P2. Lovely. There we go. We've got the little wiggle back onto there. I think we're good, guys. And we'll save that. Bells Hill, yes, double stop. Uddingston, double stop. We skip Camberslang and Newton and then straight into Glasgow Central. Uh, we're going to leave it on whatever platform we had the test train on, which is now parked in the sidings, which is brilliant. And we'll get us a, a 350 running that. There we go. Just ignore the doors are open. We're doing some uh, refurbishment on it. So that's that's what's happening there. Buy vehicles. Electric multiple units. EMU. Where's our 350? 350, is that the correct one? There we go. It is indeed. Uh, yes. Get you on four car unit buy that and you are running glasgow to edinburgh there we go guys we'll get on board that shall we on the way out uh or in why not we could go into uh glasgow on this and back out again possibly although i think we sit in glasgow for a little while that's a shame this isn't a shame though is it absolutely not we haven't ridden this for a while we could flip us and do a little bit of shenanigans up here before we get into Glasgow. Oh, should we try that? That's speeding up really quick. Uh, yes, let's try that. Stop there. Can you flip and can we go to wherever you're heading next? There we go. To Uddingston. All right, guys, we are on board our Class 350, heading to Uddingston. We did a little bit of shenanigans to get us on here. Our test train is parked up in the sidings, which is wonderful. This is not the way we'll be heading usually, I don't think. Possibly we are scheduled to go on that side, onto the West Coast Main Line. Do any of the trains use these two tracks that go past the site, uh, the depot, Palmadee Depot? Ignore which which crossovers we're using there. But now we're on our actual service line, and we're also going to skip for the first time, Camberslang, and and Newton, in both directions. So that's freed up a bit of traffic uh, around this area because all of our trains were stopping here. I'll look at more services that run between Glasgow and Edinburgh, see if the odd one perhaps stopped here, or even at Newton. Or if you know, let me know in the comments. Is it a, a uh, one-off service, something we can maybe park up in a siding somewhere and then just release once every hour or so? We can toy with it, can't we? Anyway, guys... I'll leave you on board and a little bit of a journey up to, uh, I don't know where we're heading. Maybe we'll see some trains as well. We're going to be stopping shortly at Uddeston, but after that, oh, I can see a train. That's lovely. Yes, thoroughly enjoyed that one, guys. A few more stations on our lines, and uh, that makes me all sorts of happy. 
And until next time, take care.